Hey there, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're gonna have a look at how we put a video inside either a shape or inside text, and then we're gonna have a look at how we add an outline to that video. Now, we're gonna be using a free plugin um, for creating the outline um, for these kind of shapes and the, the text. You can download that for free from BrettFX. I'll leave all the details for that below, but let's dive into it and have a look at how we put a video into a shape or into text and add an outline. So here we have a quick example of what we're gonna be looking at. So basically we're gonna be putting a video either inside our image or inside a text as you can see here, and we're gonna jump right into it and have a look at these different techniques. So we're gonna to come to a timeline with a few things set up in here. So I just got some videos laid along the timeline and we are gonna use this video first of all to put part of that video into a shape. So I'm gonna drop this sunset video back to the timeline and then we're gonna stretch this out at the beginning here and just match up the length of these. So we've got a short video and we're just gonna put a circle around this lady's face. So basically, the first thing we need to do is come up to our generators up at the top left here. And we are scrolling down here, looking in the generators and we are looking into the elements. And in the elements you'll see uh, in yours, there'll just be a shapes option so we'll drag our shape down here. We're gonna trim this down to the length of our clip. And then with it highlighted, we are first of all, just gonna scale it down here. I've got my transform options on, and then we'll just position this where we want it using those transform tools. So we wanna catch a little bit of the camera, a little bit of the shoulders, and then the face as well. And so we've just kind of got this overlaid over the top here. We could also resize our video here if we wanted to as well, but we don't need to do that. So once we've got that in the right position, we can come up to our video options in the inspector. If you don't see the inspector, just go to window, show in workspace and check the inspector and that will show it. And then we're gonna choose one of these blend modes. So we're gonna choose this stencil alpha option, which is basically gonna use the alpha transparency from that shape to make everything behind it transparent. But we don't, it want exactly that. We want to put uh, it on the background so we can see the sunset. And there's one more step to that, and that is that we select both these clips, and we're going to go to File, New, and Compound Clip. And that's basically going to wrap those up into a group. Click OK. And now we have our shape up here. We can move it around. It's going to keep that transparency. Obviously, we're right at the edge of this here, so we might double click and go back into our compound clip. And I'm just gonna move this away from the edge a little bit. We'll highlight this and just kind of reposition it so that when we add our border to this, um, we've got a little bit of space away from the edge. So we can double click into our compound clip and then we can just use the back arrow to go back to our timeline and we'll turn off our transform properties here. So we've got our shape set up here. And if we come into our effects, I have installed uh, the BrettFX Power Tools. Um, now there's two versions of Power Tools. There's a pay for version, which has some awesome plugins, some really great stuff in it. I definitely recommend buying it as a, a plugin to use. Um, but there's also a free version as well that has the outline included in it and a couple of other uh, very cool uh, features. So we're gonna go into Power Tools. I'll leave all the links and everything for this below. And we're gonna drag it onto our shape and you can see it's added the outline there. So you can see here, I can change the outline width, I can change my color, and I can change the outline distance as well, which is kind of cool. It means that when we do that, we can actually have more than one outline. So if I drag another outline onto here, you can see we get a second outline on top of our other outline. So now I can increase the distance uh, for that, and we get this kind of nice cool double outline on there as well. And obviously we can go and kind of change the, the color of that second outline too. And you can see we've got an option for scaling the source here as well, which sometimes will end up meaning you crop the edge there, but we'll leave that there. Obviously we can come back to our transform properties and move this around, but basically now we have our video uh, inside that shape. So let's have a look at how we put our video inside text, which is a very similar technique. So we're gonna grab uh, this video and we'll drop this inside our text. So basically a similar sort of uh, technique. For this one we're going to come to our textures. We're going to add a gradient uh, below this video. So we'll just drop a gradient down and we'll 
trim that down. So we have these guys on a bike and we're going to put this inside some text. So the same technique really applies. So we're going to come up to our type, we're going to go to our bumper and opener and we're going to go into the basic title options here. So I'm going to drop my basic title on here and we are going to grab this text. Uh, we'll type in in capitals bike week and we'll center that centered already I'm gonna grab one of the default 2d styles we'll make it a bold and I'm gonna just increase the size of this text and I'm trying to get it so it just take off this transform option so that it kind of uh, grabs as much of these two people as possible so basically we want the, the text to overlap them as much as possible so I'm going to decrease the line spacing so it kind of makes it more of a, a block type and increase the type size. Okay. So that looks pretty good. So now we're going to use the same technique. So we're going to come into our video options here, we're going to come into the blend mode, and we're going to use the stencil alpha which again is going to stencil everything behind it. Okay, so we need to grab both of these, go to File, New and Compound Clip, or we can use the shortcut Option and G, and we'll click OK to that. And now that will basically show up in front of the gradient in the background. And then we can go ahead and we can add an outline to this as well. Okay, so you can see we can add and kind of modify the outline width. We can change the distance if we want to. We'll leave it as is. We can change the color. And essentially we can add an outline really easily to this. Now obviously we can come back in and come into our type. Maybe with that outline there, we notice that the text is very close together here. So we might come in and kind of increase our line spacing, we can go back to our main clip. So now you can see we've kind of built a bit of space around that. We can obviously come in and change the colors in our background as well. Now one other thing we have, or a few other things we have in the BrettFX power tools, if we just disable this, so when you unclick that little checkbox, it just disables the outline or any other effect that you've added, we'll come into this extrude option. And you can see we have a nice kind of extrude option um, for this too. So we can actually extrude out our text. Uh, we can kind of change the way the extrude falls. And we can also change the, the kind of gradient of that extrude as well. So we can have shading or we can have a gradient. Okay, so if we wanna have this as a, like a block of color, if we double click on here, we can just select some similar colors and we can have that kind of stand out in the background there. And we'll tweak the background color here. I'm gonna make these colors a bit lighter so the text pops out a bit better. So again, you can see we've got some nice effects in the Brett FX power tools, even the light version, and you can check out that, check out the pro version as well. And we can now resize this and kind of position it where we want with that video playing within our text, either with an outline or with the extrude or with other effects that we've added onto it. So I hope that's a good overview of how to add a video uh, inside a shape or inside text, and then how to add an outline. As I mentioned, I'll leave a link to the Brett FX power tools, the light version and the pro version below. Um, if you have any questions, then leave them in the comments and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.